Now we need to understand a bit about the immunology of tumors. In this section we are going to see what are the ways in which normally we are protected from tumor formation in our body and how in patients of cancers the, this protection is overcome or that an escape of the tumors occurs from the immunological surveillance. That will be part of this section which we are going to see. We all understand that there is no single etiological agent for cancer just like for infectious diseases. Cancer is multifactorial. Fundamentally, the what are called the genes or the oncogenes. There is a genetic predisposition in some due to some genetic mutations occurring in previous generations which are being carried on into the next generations and those genetic abnormalities will result in tumor formation. This is what is the nature or the genetics. Then of course, the environmental contribution of infections, particularly viral infections. These viral infections, these can result in tumors by way of the viral DNA being incorporated into the genome of the host cell, thus producing uh, new proteins and new genetic material which results in tumor formation. We have several examples of viruses causing uh, cancers and of course chemicals particularly organic chemicals can result in tumor formation. Some examples of these things also we would see in our next slide. Ionizing radiation and ultraviolet uh, radiation these can uh, real also produce cancers in certain individuals. The best example is the Hiroshima Nagasaki bombing survivors who developed several types of cancers due to a high energy radiation. And of course, this is what is called de novo or spontaneous mutation of the genes in an individual for whatever reason which we do not know. Some cells during the process of multiplication and cell division, the genetic material undergoes de novo mutation or spontaneous mutation and those mutated cells behave in a different way and they will be responsible for the formation of tumors. So this is in nutshell the understanding about the various etiological factors and their interplay in the causation of cancer. Let us look at some examples of each one of these mechanisms. We have seen in our previous slide that there are several agents or several etiologies which cause cancer that is it is multifactorial. Inherited expression of inherited oncogene example viral gene is incorporated into the host gene and an oncogene is formed and that is inherited through the generations into the next generation and they suffer from tumors. Viral infections like human papilloma virus, herpes type 2 virus, hepatitis B virus, Epstein Barr virus which is a DNA virus, then human T cell leukemia virus which is an RNA virus. These are known to produce definite tumors in human beings. Human papilloma virus for the carcinoma of cervix, hepatitis B virus for the carcinoma of the, of the liver like and so on. Chemicals for a particularly the organic chemicals, polycyclic hydrocarbons, they cause sarcomas. Aromatic amines cause mammary carcinoma. Alkyl nitrous amines cause hepatoma. Aniline dyes cause bladder cancer. And likewise, there could be thermal injury, there could be injury due to the tobacco, there are so many other, other factors, other uh, unknown unexplained things which work on a particular cell to mutate and become a tumor cell. Radiological that is ultraviolet and ionizing irradiation uh, can produce tumors as we already know. The last but not the least is the spontaneous mutation occurring uh, in, in the process of cell division, in the process of cell multiplication. 
each of our individual cells in the body they divide enormous number of times uh, and each time they should not mutate and produce the same cell but unfortunately during the process of cell division some mutation can occur at some point and that results in a mutated cell and the and the mutated cell uh, is is the tumor cell whose growth is uncontrolled or unhindered and this uncontrolled cellular growth or failure of the system to check the growth of the cellular um, mass that results in tumor formation so this is these are some of the etiological factors that are responsible for tumor formation in various tissues now coming to the tumor immunology pathological cancer cell masses are formed by abnormal and uncontrolled expansion of clones of single cells if one single cell mutates and forms an abnormal cell and if, the, if that cell multiplies and its clones the copies of that particular cell in large numbers and their growth is uncontrolled and abnormal that can result in cancer cell mass transformation of normal cells into cancer cells due to de novo mutation or due to viruses or due to chemical injury or due to the genetic information that is transmitted from generations spontaneous mutation due to during daily cell divisions it may be induced by carcinogens like chemicals and viruses carcinoma cell antigens are different from the normal cells and these antigens themselves will trigger certain immunological responses in the host to perpetuate the tumor normally these carcinoma cell antigens are to be recognized by our immune system and our immune system should destroy this cancer cells that's what is happening in each of our bodies every day there are mutant cells formed due in various organs but all these mutated cells are not allowed to become tumor cells or tumor masses simply because the antigens of these mutated cells are recognized by our immune system and our immune system knocks them off so that we don't develop cancer but for some unknown reasons in some different mechanisms complicated mechanisms this immune system might not be able to throw away these uh, abnormal cells which we'll see in the next slides